gosh, you guys. Oh, excuse me, star. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, it's done. I'm done with the building. Everything is built. I'm working on painting right now. It has one layer of airbrushed acrylic paint. It's just a black acrylic that I put over this. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I made the boots. Can you see that? I don't have a lot of movement in this. The boots. They're really simple. So if you're building any type of like large armor that has kind of big boots, you can totally use this and you can reuse those boots. I hope you guys find this video uh, helpful. My mom should be coming over in a bit. If I'm still in this, I'm going to surprise her in it and see what she says. Because she hasn't seen it in person yet, so uh, we'll see. But yeah, um, let's hop. Stop, I'm trying to do a funny joke. Let's hop into the boot tutorial. The first thing I did was cover my boots in clean wrap and duct tape and then I drew on a pattern to make the boot cover with four-way stretch fabric and it must be four-way stretch because we need to be able to stretch it over the boot and then I cut out the pattern and then I pinned them to my fabric. I then sewed all the seams together and BAM a boot cover was made. Wow. I turned the boot cover inside out and I put it on my not an UGG boot. I need to specify that's not an UGG. And oh, there's a hole, but that's okay. I will fix that later. The other boot was cling wrapped in tape, and then I drew the pattern on for the actual boot, like how the foam will go. I cut out the pattern and then took a minute to think about how the layers would go on. I cut them out one at a time and I glued them onto the boot cover. Instead of cutting all the foam at once, I did it one at a time, working on the pieces separately. It basically keeps me from wasting foam so that uh, if I need to do any adjustments, I'm not wasting anything. It's not like, it's not cut out yet. So like I've been doing for this whole build, I blast each piece of foam with my heat gun and I hot glue them onto the boots. Attaching the foam to the boot cover instead of the boot itself lets me use the boots again for another project without ruining them. So this tube thing that I'm making is wrong. This is a very tubey, shapeless look and I hated it so I ended up cutting the sides of this eventually. This method would be fine for like space boots or something without shape or something that you want a little more tubular. Ho ho ho, tubular. And bam, magically these sides are cut because I, that's when I realized I hated it. <laughs> so I glued a few more layers on. I'm also heating up the boot and bending it more towards the ankle so it has a little more shape to it. Next, Bean helps out just a little bit by staring at all my failures. Then I glue the back piece on, and it's just a long rectangle panel that I stick on the back there. Next I pattern the side spikes and the spikes that come out of the heel. The side spikes was made out of two layers of, I think it was 8mm foam, and I glued them together and sand it into a spike with my Dremel, and I just attach it with hot glue and heat form it to curve around the boot. Then I am heat forming just a little more. And then I get to solder the stuff uh, that looks like Daedric writing, kind of, I don't know, into the boot. And then I solder some more details and stuff. And then what am I gonna say about this? Hmm. Burning foam is quite toxic and no joke, so make sure you wear a respirator and do this in a well-ventilated room. Next, I do a little more detailing that no one will ever notice. <laughs> Clasp I use for the back are actually some little gems that I got in a bin that I had that's just called bling. The shape worked pretty well. Sometimes instead of spending a billion hours making something, you can find something that looks just like it, kind of. I get to plasti dip them now. After doing all the final details and gluing on the googly eyes, I plasti dip the boots and the fabric. If you plasti dip the bottom of the boot, it'll help give you some grip as this fabric is kind of slippery. You can also do hot glue dots onto the bottom of the shoe, but honestly, I don't care if I slip and fall because like that's the joy in life. 
and they're done i love the way that they came out i'm so glad this armor build came out the way it did only three more videos until it's done i just have the finishing touches painting and led wiring and then that's it for the daedric armor series well there's the great sword but like that's that's probably gonna be a whole separate thing like that's a prop i hope you guys found this useful have a super awesome rest of the day check out my instagram and patreon if you're interested in more behind the scenes stuff thank you so much to my patrons adam hunt aliar blue panda david rosenbaum eric jim w kalika kaiser logan don carlos mel wismerden marwin lorenz Mer kitten robert gallardo ryan craig sakura tone the chicken guy and valdemir have a super awesome rest of the day and i'll see you guys next week bye Ah, the dragon.